Hi, welcome to today's mission of Brewer. We are in chapter 90, doing numbers at 19 to 22. You could buy, you should fix Makoma place let filato to his prayer. Shelo yeshanehu, that you should not change it im lo letzorech, if it is not necessary. So a place where you'll be unless there's a need to be somewhere else. The ain't die, it is not enough. With that, that he will fix for himself a shul to pray that this will be my shul. That is one level of having a fixed place, but it's not enough. Ella, rather, even within the shul in which he is fixed, he needs to have a fixed place. So, a fixed place within the shul. He should enter shiur, the measurement. Of Shnei Petachim, two entrances, two doorways, the length of two doors. Ve'achakachipalel, and then you should pray. So, what does that mean? You should go the measure of two doors. Yesh Mafarshim. Some explain. Shiur Shnei Petachim, the entry, the the measure of two doors. Hainu, this is Shmonat Vachim, eight tefachs, which would be about four meters. You can actually go in that distance. It's the distance of two doorways. He should not sit near the entrance, the doorway. It seems like a burden. Sitting in the shul. We don't want it to look like the person sitting there reluctantly waiting for an opportunity to leave. According to this, if he has a set spot, a place that's really, miyuchad means like a unique, but here it means a, a set space set aside for him by the doorway. Ein bakach klum, no problem. There's no issue with it because then it doesn't look like he's trying to get out. This is where he always sits. But yesh mefarshim shata. There are those who explain the reason. Mibnei shem meibit lachutz, because he looks outside, and he is not able to focus. Sitting right by the door, he's always going to be looking around and seeing everyone walking up and down the street and everything. So that's a, uh, a third explanation. Three explanations. Number one, that you should come in four meters. Um, sorry, two, two explanations. You should come in four meters. Number two, shouldn't sit by a place where you'll be able to see everything going on. According to this, if it's not open, to the public domain, in other words, if you're not looking right out onto the street, there's no problem. This is the third explanation. He should not hurry to pray immediately when he comes in. Rather, he should wait the measure of two doorways. How long it would take him to walk through the door? Twice. And it is correct to worry for all of the explanations. In other words, don't sit by the door unless that's your place. Don't sit by the door unless you can't see out onto the road. And don't start opening the second you come in, but give it a few seconds to kind of settle and focus your mind. Number 21. There should not be something blocking between him and the wall. Should be between him, straight to the wall. Vadavar Kavua, now a fixed item. Kagon Aron, like a box. Vateva, or another kind of box. Maybe Aron is uh, better translated as a cupboard. Or a box. Einam Chotzitzin, those do not block. So the blockage of a box or a cupboard don't count. Velo chashiv mechitza, and it's not considered a mechitza, rak bedavar gadol, only on a big thing. She govho asara, that its height is ten, verochvo arbaa, and its width is four tfachim, so it's like a meter high and forty centimeters wide. Aval davar katan, but something small, lo chashiv hefsek, is not considered a break. Vechain bale chaim, enam chotzitzin. And so too, Balechaim animals are not blocks. So if I want to, I'm praying near the wall, but there's a cow standing in the way, that's not a problem. Afilu Adam even a person does not block. Veli Nere, there are more to me, it seems, the Balechaim Chotzetzin, that animals do block, the Adam but a person would not block. Vechain Nere, Sfarata Poskim, and so too, this seems, 
the logic or the position of the halachic authorities. It is possible that there fell an error in the books. It's possible that, uh, that the books that the Shulchan Aruch was writing in or writing from uh, erroneously put this thing about an animal not blocking because really it seems an animal does block. Number 22, that you should be careful to pray. In other words, you shouldn't behind any person. It is good to worry for those words. If you can, uh, if you can do it, that's a good thing to do. Mishnah Burr says, you're going to avoid being behind someone. Mishnah Burr says, Yikba Makin, you should set himself a place. Shekain Matsina Bavram Avinu, this is what we find with our father Avraham. Shekavam Akum Litfilato, he set a place for his prayer. Kedech Tev, as the verse says. Vayashkeim Avraham Baboker, and Avraham got up early in the morning. Elham Makom Asher Madsham Et Panashem, to the place that he had stood there beholding the face of Hashem. So he went to the same place where he was before. He obviously had a fixed place. The gum and also, when he prays at home, he should fix a place. You should have a fixed place at home to pray as well. It shouldn't just be anywhere. That the members of the household should not mix him up when he's davening. It should be a, a place that everyone knows that that's where he's going. Uh, to to uh, to pray quietly, but now by it, members of the household. Makom kavua, a set place. V'toch arba amot, within four meters. Uh, sorry, two meters. Four amot. Chashuv is considered makom echad, one place. Why? De ef shar, it is impossible. Let some same to be precise. In other words. We can't say, we'll sit exactly in the same place every single day. Sometimes the chairs are moved around, the tables are moved around. You can't sit always in the exact same place. So, obviously, the halacha does not require or expect you to be in exactly the same place. So, uh, within two meters of the same place. By the way, what this means also is when somebody wants to say, ah, oh, this is my spot, nobody else can sit there, that isn't really a halachic position because they could sit next to it, in front of, behind, or whatever, uh, and halachically that is just as acceptable. Number 20, Shiru Shnei Tvachim, should uh, wait the amount of, uh, should uh, go in the amount of two openings. Ayin Babach, Shekhatav, take a look in the Bach who wrote, De Tzarech La'asot Azara Lifnei Beit HaKneset. You need to make a courtyard before the shul. Dugma ta'ula mishyalif ne'ahechel. As they just like the hall which was before the temple uh, hallway. Right? Uh, there was a uh, hall, foyer maybe is a, better, is a better word for the ulam. Within the temple itself, the first room was like the foyer and then there was the temple hallway. Beherik lafarish bezeh amama v'shir tvetvachim. And he goes to length to explain in this way the saying of this two doorways. You go in two doorways and then dove, and this means you should have a foyer before the shul. And that's what the Magan And that is the custom today in every place. So some say a fourth explanation of this idea of the two doors is actually an architectural one. The Alkan, therefore, Tov lehader lechatchila. It is good to beautify it. Lechatchila uh, in the first place. Shelo lehit palel be azara to not pray in the foyer. Ki im beveitak neset rather in the shul. Yesheshi or some say you should wait that amount of time. Kadeshi chashev da atualav in order that his mind will be settled upon him. And you will pray with focus. Because when he prays, immediately in his entrance, Pitom suddenly walks in and starts praying. His mind is not settled on him. 
Mechabdin Bafetak Baitaknesit. We honor at the entrance of the shul. Shikanes Hagadol Tchila. That the greater person should enter first. Ho'il Varawi Lemezuza. Since that is uh, appropriate to the doorway. So uh, the idea here is, you know, after you know after you, that's a real thing. That you should be uh, asking, you know, offering the, the greater person to go first. Uh, and I would just add in that obviously it's appropriate that uh, each person considers another greater. But there are times when objectively you know that one person is greater and you should honor them. But that is a real thing. And uh, also obviously don't be crazy about it. Now you should be right up against the wall. There shouldn't be any blockage. Shenemar, as the verse says. Vaye save he turned Chizkiyahu, King Chizkiyahu, turned Panabal Akira's face to the wall, but he's Palel and he prayed. So we see when he came to pray, he didn't just stand in the middle of the room, but he actually turned himself towards the wall to pray. Umikomakom, nevertheless, Ainaze Ella la mitzvah mina mubhar. That is only for a mitzvah from the choicest. In other words, that's the best way to do a uh, uh, to do a mitzvah. The late bay there is there is not in it isura prohibition. There's no problem when he needs this, he needs to be not facing the wall because of the pressure of the place. In other words, there's limited space, so he can't get next to the wall. He's not doing anything wrong. It's just extra good if he can. Okay, Nefil. Imiev Shar Bakalut, if it is impossible. Easily lead palel binyan achir to pray in another way. Kergon, for example, if I'm sometimes shemit palelin baasara, you praying in a minyan baezer cheder in a room. Ve'yev sharlo kol adam la'amod bli chatzitzal kotel, and it's impossible for everyone to stand without a blockage right next to the wall. There just isn't that much wall space. So in such a case, al ye akev hatfilah bishvilze. Do not hold back. The prayer because of this. Don't say, oh, we need to go find another room where everyone can stand with the wall. To go to a different room to pray. Okay, so we pray in the room. It's absolutely fine. Nevertheless. He should close his eyes. Or he should pray from the Sidur. And he should not look outside so the idea in order that he will not come to negate his focus over the thing that blocks in front of him in other words if he's right there by the window right there by the wall so then he's facing the wall uh, directly so then there's uh, there's nothing else that's coming in the way but if he is uh, got all these other kinds of things between him and the wall. So then the problem is that he can now lose focus. So then he should close his eyes. He should keep his eyes on the Siddur. He shouldn't allow himself to be distracted. Benovenakir between him and the wall. Even if he was distant from the wall. That he is standing in the middle of the shul. Gamkain yeshli zahir. Uh, also, you should be careful. There shouldn't be something blocking between him and the wall. And the Prima Gadim is inclined to say that if the blockage is outside of four amot from him, that is another domain. Vashari and is permissible. It's an Aramaic word. The Chain Pasaka Magen Giborim, and that's what the Magen Giborim said as well. In other words, it's either the wall or four Amot in front of you of empty space. Those are both good options. The Teva, something like a box. Umitot Shalanu, and our beds, Ha'asuyot Vishchiva, which are made to lie down. And there's not the way to move them from place to place. Nikraot davar kavua. That's a fixed thing. The einam chutzatzot, and they do not block. The yesh cholkin. There are those who argue. The tov lahachmir. But the efshar, and it is good to be strict. But the efshar where possible. 
Rak Badavar Gadol. So we're only um, uh, speaking about it when it's a big thing. I am Bataz, take a look at the Taz. The Kol Davar should Tzorech Tfilah. Whatever is for the needs of Davani. Afilu Gadol Harbe. Even it's very big, Eino Chashuv Hefsek is not considered a block, an interruption. Kagon, for example, has Shulchan Shebabait, the table in the room, Shemenichin Alava Sidur, on which they place the Sidur. That's not considered a blockage either. Velachay nevo nagu v'vayt hakneset. The custom is in the shul. Sheyesh lifnei kol echad shulchan katan. That there is in front of every person a small table. Shekorin shtenda, which we call a shtenda. Shemenich and alav asidurim on which we place the sidurim. Va'avo bisha gavo asara v'rachavarba. Even though it's ten high and four wide, and it's not fixed in place, it's moved around. It's still going to be fine. V'kain katvu shari achronim. And so too they wrote the rest of the Achronim later halachic authorities. V'roch ba'arba, and if it's width is four, uh, it's about 40 centimeters, afilum eino rachav arba'a, rak lamala velo lamata. Even if it's only a width of four above and not below. Okay, so what we have so far, if there's a big empty space, you're fine. If you're up by the wall, you're fine. If the thing in front of you is for prayer, you're fine. If the thing is fixed in its place, you're fine. And if the thing is for the needs of prayer, then you're fine. Lo chashiv hefsek, if it's, then it's not considered a, a, a break. There are pre chadash cholek, the pre chadash argues. For chaim yosef, a mamre mordechai katav deva, the midivre tshuva to rambam, shuka, for shuva, vet yosef, lo mash mahachi. And also, they say from the, a uh, response of the Rambam, it doesn't imply, lo mashmachi, it's not implied like this. Numikom akom, and nevertheless, saf salim shavayt agneset, the benches. In the shul, the chule alma, according to all opinions, lo chashiv hefsek, is not considered a break. De kvuyim hai, because they are fixed. Ayin sham b'fri chadash, take a look there in the pre chadash. Okay, so they want to say that even if it's a small thing, actually that would be a break. So you, again, best case scenario, you're by the wall, or you're empty space, or whatever's in front of you is fixed, or whatever's in front of you is for the needs of the shul. She actually zayim le palel should be careful about davening. Kata b'sefer mar mordechai yirad lechor yesh letak take b'zeh. Seemingly you can literally be precise, but you can uh, it means here you can question this. Dev shardi zayir b'zeh. It's impossible to be careful about praying behind somebody else. How is it possible that the entire nation that is standing in the shul should be opposite the wall below of sakatatam without the interruption of a person? Therefore, it seems the Avle Yesh Omrim, even this opinion that says you should be careful about davening behind a person, lo have a hefsek gamur. That's not a proper interruption. Shaya asurul upon Adam. That would be forbidden there. Ella, what it means is zehirut ba'alma. Just extra caution. It's a good thing. Shayesh li zahir b'de efsha. You should be careful where possible that you aren't praying behind somebody. No vaytak neset v'geyotzebo and in a shul etc. The efshar bini nachir. It's impossible in such a way. Pshita. Then it is obvious. The muta lechat chilalit palel achari Adam. That it is permissible in the first instance. To pray behind a person. Elisham, a duck take by myself, but somebody who's so precise in his action, somebody who's a real perfectionist when it comes to mitzvot, Yere should see, she yellow makum kavua negra kotel, to make this fixed place right up against the wall. Ad kan and that is what he says. That's it for today.